just between you and me, there's a dirty little secret that two out of five business people don't want you to know. They don't write well. Let's look at some typical archetypes of people who struggle with writing. The task averse. Writing tasks for this individual take much too long and they actually cause physical or emotional pain and discomfort. They feel stressed, demoralized, and depressed. They have high determination levels and tend to be high achievers. So they try to will themselves through a difficult writing task, something routine like a job estimate or an email reply. You often see them shaking their heads, grimacing at their computer screen and squirming in their chair when writing. They get up and pace the room. They wring their hands and, and return to the task with sweaty palms. They get a lot of headaches. They are indeed task averse. The criticized. This individual has suffered criticisms all their life concerning writing. Now as an adult, they face the same old demons. They tend to have a high IQ and may be a never diagnosed dyslectic. They may be good at math, outgoing and friendly, but the written language has never been their strong suit. These people tend to be creative and have great ideas, but are unable to articulate them clearly in written form. They dread employer evaluations because they're often criticized by their managers, just as they were during grade school and high school. They tend to grow quiet in reviews as they wrestle with age-old issues of self-esteem and ego. Some lose jobs, but many hang on because of their magnetic personalities and work ethic. But colleagues consider them a low-level incompetent from poorly written emails, meeting agendas that require further explanation, and proposal ideas that never see the light of day because they can't write them up. The procrastinator. This person considers writing tasks as boring, frustrating, unpleasant, worrisome, difficult, and they resent them. They tend to be great with clients in face-to-face -face situations. They're the ones standing at the coffee machine and making people laugh with a new joke or some witty observation. They are great presenters and can capture the attention of an audience, but they wait until the last possible moment to answer emails, submit a report, and do a sigh of relief each time they're asked to present the big idea while others are tasked with writing it up. They seek support for writing tasks. As a kid, their mother reviewed and corrected their homework. She might have even written reports or tried to structure something he'd written to be more coherent and clear. And as an adult, this individual seeks out smart girlfriends and marry women who can assume the editing job formerly held by mother. She's tasked with proofreading documents before they're submitted and reminding him of upcoming important dates at his job so she has adequate time to fix his written submissions. He is the procrastinator, the self-recriminator. This is an individual with a lot on his shoulders. He may be a business owner or a high-level manager at a company. He's a natural leader and has been relatively successful at life. Perhaps he was a high school or a college athlete and is used to basking in the glory of others by making the crutch touchdown or the winning shot at the buzzer. But he's caught in a cycle of failures at work. Yet again, a major RFP that he slaved over for weeks did not win the contract. He's beginning to lose the respect of colleagues because his track record is abysmal. He suspects it's his writing and tends to resist the efforts of others to proof the final documents before submission. He's beginning to doubt himself though, and is finding it hard to look himself in the mirror. He prefers to dream about his glory days as his friends and colleagues roll their eyes as he once again relives a glorious past to mask his disappointment that he's lost a big revenue generator for the company. Yet again, they don't have to say anything He's giving himself a hard enough time. 
He's a self-recriminator. Now, you may or may not have seen yourself as one of those archetypes of poor writers, but you know who you are. And girls, don't be so confident because we focused on males. Women have writing problems too. What are the costs of having poor business writing skills? To learn more about how writing ability affects income, register for the 175,000 Reasons to Master Business Writing Workshop. The link to the workshop's registration is included in the description below. Brought to you by Writing for Business Lesson Series. Combining business writing proficiency and modern business know-how to develop the consummate business professional.